So what is going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another video on the channel where today might be one of the worst days in a long time for any of the older Call of Duties ranging from Black Ops 3 really all the way back to World at War back in 2009. Any online Call of Duty game that is basically not playable anymore. The later ones that we've had after BO3, BO4, newer ones, Modern Warfare 2019, Cold War etc. don't have this problem as far as I'm aware as of yet but Black Ops 3 and before that if you wanted to play these games online especially on PC this was also a problem on console as well just not as bad then you were taking a huge risk there are a ton of issues with these older games they are basically broken at this point hackers have taken control so even if you did manage to play online on these older Call of Duties it wasn't a risk that I'd be willing to take because they could steal your information such as your bank details your IP address they could find out your location they could delete your DLC packs, reset your ranks. So for example, if you were 10th prestige on one of the older CODs, you could be set back to zero. They could kick you from the game. Imagine being on round 100 on Black Ops 3 Zombies and then all of a sudden your game ends. That would hurt, especially if you were on something like round 98 or 99. Basically, most of the older Call of Duties are unplayable. Me being a console player, I hadn't experienced this as much. So I guess I'm not going through it as much as a lot of other people are. I'm not affected by it as closely, even though this is also a problem on console. Things such as being kicked from the game and resetting of your rank can still happen. I also just don't really play Call of Duty's online modes anymore either, which is probably a good thing. But this affected both console and PC players. And well, there was hope there were fixes to this, ways we could get around it playing these games safely through clients such as Xlabs, SM2 and Plutonium. These clients allow you to play older Call of Duty games without the risk. And over the past few months, one client that's been doing a lot of work is Xlabs. They have clients for games such as Modern Warfare 2, the OG one, Call of Duty Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, and BO3. BO3 probably being the biggest one because as of late, the player base on that game on Steam has been rising. A lot of that's to do with the modder community because obviously we have mod tools and zombies. It's one of the only Call of Duty games where that's available to us, which makes it different and unique. But for years and years, BO3 has been hacked to shit. So modded zombies, multiplayer it just wasn't playable unless you wanted to take that risk and so xlabs fixed that it allowed you to play bo3 online safely and as a result you saw the player base rise without double checking i looked the other day and i think the player base was something like 6,000 players in the last 24 hours which for a game that came out in 2015 is really good that's higher than cod games that have come out after but well it's all over yesterday xlabs posted this on their twitter where they said today we have received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the Xlabs project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you all for your support over the years. You might think, okay, that affects some Call of Duty games, but we still have other clients. No, just a few days prior to that, another client, SM2, posted, today a team member received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision in relation to the SM2 project. Again, we are complying to this order and shutting down all operations. Basically the exact same message that Xlabs put out. So that's two clients gone, meaning the only one left is Plutonium, which I believe is quite a bit older than these other two. It's been going for a long time, which is surprising to me why Activision haven't shut it down already. If they're going after Xlabs and SM2, why now? If clients similar to these have been around for a long time, Plutonium covers a few older games like World at War, BO1, BO2 and Modern Warfare 3. So you can play them online safely without risking you succumbing to hackers. So a few of the older games still seem safe for now, but ones such as Advanced Warfare, BO3, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Ghosts, okay, we can forget that one. There is no safe way to play these games online, which begs the question, why? For BO3, Activision and Troyo gave us mod tools. They are only available on PC online, and if well, you can't safely play online on those games. There is absolutely zero reason for you to play modded zombies anymore. This hacker issue has been a problem for years now. Activision know about it because it was only a few months back that Troyot put out a tweet saying that they were fixing some things to do with BO3. A lot of people were getting excited during that time saying, well, okay, maybe now we can play BO3 online finally without having to use a client. I believe they did fix some things, but the game was still completely broken. You still needed to use one. So Activision and the developers, whoever it is, are aware of this hacker issue. Of course they are, but they've done nothing to fix it. And it's been left to these random developers to create these clients for free, by the way. You don't have to pay for them. These random developers have worked hard for, I don't know how long it takes, months, years to perfect to create these clients for us, the players, to download for free so that we can play these games online safely. Something that 
Activision and their developers should be doing, Troyork and Finity Wood, Sledgehammer, etc. Not random fans, they should be wanting to make their game safe, but it seems they don't care. I think there's a very obvious reason for this, it's because they don't want people playing all the Call of Duties. They don't want some of their potential player base being taken away from the latest Call of Duty, in this case being Modern Warfare 2, and some of those players going back to play older Call of Duties that perhaps won't bring them in money. Those older CODs don't have things such as bundles or, I don't know, as many microtransactions shoved in your face. If you're going back to play Black Ops 3 or BO1 World at War, you're probably not going to be buying microtransactions from those games. That's potentially a few thousand players each month that are being taken away from the new COD, Modern Warfare 2. That could also be potentially purchasing microtransactions. So you can absolutely see why Activision have done this, because I can't think of any other logical reason other than they want the few thousand players that are going back to play the older Call of Duties on the latest one, so that they can potentially get that extra bit of money out of them. Because other than that, I can't see a logical explanation. The only thing I could maybe side with them on is the fact that people who do download these clients, some people, I'm not saying everyone, don't actually pay for the game through official platforms such as Steam. They use things such as keys where you can say buy Black Ops 3 for like $10, whereas on Steam, even though BO3 gets a discount quite often, it's still a lot more expensive and that money's going to Activision, whereas some people who are using these clients are running unofficial versions of the game. I can't blame them for not wanting people to buy cracked versions of their game, but that wasn't everyone, that was just a few people. And the developers of these clients have even come out and said, don't use our clients unless you're using an official version of the game. They're not encouraging it. But again, that's only gonna be a small amount of people, so. I can't see that being an issue really. I can't see that being the main problem because like I said in the beginning, Plutonium's been around for a lot longer. I just think the reason for this is Activision don't want people playing older Call of Duty games. They want you playing the latest one so they can get that bit more money and that's also the reason why they haven't fixed these older cuts. It's probably not worth their time. It's probably not worth the amount of developers they would have to dedicate to fixing these older Call of Duties. They also don't want to spend the money on it. Basically, they don't want you playing older Call of Duties. That's what it is. And so in order to stop that, they've now started to take down the clients that made it safe to do so. And it's sad because some of those older games, unlike the new ones, were actually good. There are a lot of good memories in there for people. And going back to play them every now and again was good. Money Tools was fun. There are other developers, other publishers, Rockstar. We all know about GTA RP and 5M. I'm pretty sure when I used to watch GTA RP content, a few developers came out back then and said they love it. So how Rockstar can support something like that, but Activision want to order cease and desist, kind of baffles me. Unless Activision are doing this because they plan to fix it for themselves. We don't need these clients anymore. So they're taking them down before they fix all of these older Call of Duties for themselves. Then fine, but obviously that's not going to happen. So why? Literally, this is the definition of killjoy and they are the definition of money grabbers. Activision are 100% within their right to do this, of course. Call of Duty is their intellectual property. They are their assets. They own anything to do with COD, so unfortunately they are within their right to do this. It's not a question on that side, it's a question on you don't, you don't have to. You can just let people have their fun. I very much doubt it's hurting you that much as far as how much money is being taken away from you. It, it can't be that much. If it's a few thousand players, how many of those are going to buy content from your new COD? A few hundred maybe, a few thousand? How much is that in revenue? I have no idea. Surely that's what it comes down to, money. They want their older Call of Duties to die. They don't want them to live on. And instead, they want you to buy and play the latest one every single year. Now, most of the older CODs aren't playable anymore when it just about seemed like they were getting back up on their feet and potentially in the near future it will be all of the older cuts because near enough all of them are hacked to death it's just not worth taking the risk and playing them so yeah it's done let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always hopefully you've enjoyed the video today if you have drop a like rating make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content on the channel thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one until then goodbye